cinephile host. Can you imagine a man who was born an old man and grew up in reverse from old to young, then died a baby? You might feel sorry for this man, but in the movie he was surrounded by love from three different women, his adoptive mother, a lifetime love interest, and a married woman in an affair. Other than this, the old young man even joined the Navy and sank a U-boat. Let's watch the 2008 Best Picture Oscar winner, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. In August 2005, elderly Daisy Fuller is on her deathbed. She tells her daughter Caroline about a train station built in 1918 and the blind clockmaker, Mr. Gateau, who was hired to make a clock for it. When it was unveiled at the station, the public was surprised to see the clock running backwards. I made it that way, so that perhaps the boys that we lost in the war might stand and come home again. Home to farm, work, have children, to live long, full lives. Perhaps my own son might come home again. Then the diary written by Benjamin Button appears. Benjamin said that he was born an old, sick man. His father abandoned him, but a nursing home caregiver, Queenie, adopted him. That's his first lifelong true love. And with Queenie's loving care, Benjamin grows up and gets younger and healthier. At the age 11, he meets Daisy Fuller. She is Ben's second true love, but their first encounter was only a foreshadowing for their future love stories. After Daisy left, Benjamin later got a job working on a tugboat. Captain Mike Clark, who hired Ben, trained him and taught him how to be the man he's meant to be. Don't let anyone tell you different. You've got to do what you're meant to do. And I happen to be a goddamn artist. Then Ben's father appears. But it was another foreshadowing for their future encounters and for Ben's inheritance of their family business, the Buttons Button Company. As life goes on, Ben gets younger. I don't know how it's possible, but you seem to have more fire. What if I told you that I wasn't getting older, but I was getting younger than everybody else? Well, I feel sorry for you. You have to see everybody you love die before you do. It's an awful responsibility. I never thought about life or death that way before. Benjamin, we're meant to lose the people we love. How else would we know how important they are to us? At 18, Ben left the nursing home to see the world and started to send Daisy postcards from all the places he went to. During his adventures in Russia, Ben came across Elizabeth Abbott, his third true love. She was married and was the first woman to give Ben an affectionate kiss and many romantic nights. Their love made them both feel younger. You make me feel years younger too. I wish I was. So many things I've changed. I'd undo all my mistakes. What mistakes? Mm. I kept waiting, you know, thinking that I'd do something to change my circumstances. Do something. Such an awful waste. You never get it back. Wasted time. But she didn't have time to waste, and this affair was fleeting. At Ben's age of 26, he decided to go home. After nine-year tiring journey, we can see that it's Brad Pitt who's playing Ben. Queenie showed him his younger sister and was so happy to see Ben grew even younger. Like you've been born again, younger than the springtime. I think that preacher laid hands on you gave you a second life. Remember what I told you? You never know what's coming for you. That's right. Sit down. In the end, Daisy and Ben lived together once for a while and they had a baby girl, Caroline, named after Ben's biological mother. 
But Ben was afraid that his reverse aging physical change would someday be a heavy burden on Daisy's life. So he left and Daisy married a normal man. When Caroline grew up, Ben already aged in reverse from a young man to a teenager to a child. One day, Daisy was called to take care of him until the day Ben died a baby in Daisy's arms. And Daisy is also gone when Caroline read the diary through. As Hurricane Katrina heavily hit New Orleans, the rain pours into a warehouse where the big clock finally drowning in a flood of time and also this love story buried in the currents of life. Nothing lasts. I will never stop loving you. Oh, but Benjamin, I'm an old woman now. Some days you never forget. So that perhaps the boys that we lost in the war might stand and come home again. Home to farm, work, have children. Leave long, full lives. Don't let anyone tell you different. You've got to do what you're meant to do. And I happen to be a goddamn artist. Benjamin, we're meant to lose the people we love. How else would we know how important they are to us? Do something to change my circumstances. Do something. You never get it back. Wasted time. Remember what I told you? You never know what's coming for you. That's right. Sit down. Nothing lasts. I will never stop loving you. Some days you never forget. Please remember to stay tuned and find more movies and quotes on Fonde website. I'm Anna, thanks for watching Cinephile and see you next time!